All right, so we've talked about three tools so far. I want to talk about our fourth, the binomial theorem. Now, how does the binomial theorem connect to all these combinatorics? Well, when we were doing the combinations with n choose r, this is actually known as the binomial coefficient. So let me remind you what a binomial is. Uh, we've seen these in algebra previously. A plus B is an example of binomial. I have A and B, two variables, binomial. And often we've seen A plus B squared. And we have to solve this out uh, as A plus B times A plus B, which is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Not too bad. But what if we're going to do A plus B cubed? Well, I can multiply in another A plus B. And I'm going to walk through this process of doing B times B squared to get B cubed, B times 2AB to get 2AB squared, B times A squared to get A squared B. And continuing on multiplying my A in, A B squared, A times 2AB, 2A squared B, and finally, A times A squared A cubed. Ooh. And at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit exhausted, but we still have to add these terms in. So I have A cubed plus 2A squared and B, A squared B, gives us 3A squared B plus 2AB squared, AB squared, 3AB squared plus our final b cubed. Now, as you can tell with a lot of this addition and multiplication, there's room for error. So what we have is the binomial theorem, which can help us compute what each of these terms are in an equation. So let me go ahead and write the binomial theorem right here so we can see how it works. So the binomial theorem, given a plus b raised to some power n is equal to the summation from some value, let's say k equals 0, to n of n choose k. What we've previously learned, this is often written as k, but r will be all right as well, to a to n minus k and b. So let's go ahead and provide an example of our a plus b uh, cubed to see how this works. So if I have a plus b cubed, and I'm plugging this into the binomial theorem, our n is 3, k is equal to 0, because we're always starting from the beginning, n is 3, k will vary depending on what term we're solving for, so I'm just going to leave this as k for now, and a n minus k times b to the k. Okay, so for our first term, k is equal to 0, so I'm doing 3 choose 0, a to the 3 minus 0, b to the 0. And this equals a cubed. Then if we add in our second term, 3, k increments, remember this is a summation, so choosing 1, a to the 3 minus 1, b to whatever k is, 1 now, and this equals a squared b plus our uh, 3 choose 1, which is 3. And let's continue on. 3 choose 2. We have a, 3 minus 2, b squared, which is 3, a, b squared. And then finally, 3 choose 3, which is, well, our a goes away, 3 minus 3. And b to the k is 3 now. b cubed. So if I look, all of these terms match what we previously had here. And that's applying the binomial theorem, which is an application of our algebra that we've learned in high school, our combinatorics that we've learned today, and it's going to help us with our combina combina combinations later on in computer science.